In Nope, Jordan Peele flipped the UFO genre upside down. What if your classic flying saucer wasn't a spaceship, but a living, breathing predator? Today we're diving into the biology of Jean Jacket to find out if a skyborne creature like this could truly exist. How could it fly, hunt, display and evolve in a real ecosystem? At first glance, Jean Jacket appears to be your standard UFO. Silent, hovering and mysterious. But it's actually something far scarier. A giant biological predator disguised as a flying saucer. Unlike traditional aliens who pilot ships, Jean Jacket itself is the ship a massive airborne animal floating effortlessly, sucking in prey with a powerful vacuum-like suction. When threatened, it transforms dramatically, revealing a delicate jellyfish-like body that seems to pulse and ripple in the sky. But could an organism like this really exist? Jean Jacket is enormous. In biology, flight at such immense sizes is tricky. On Earth, the largest flying creatures ever, like the pterosaurs, relied on lightweight bones, huge wingspans, and specific atmospheric conditions. Jean Jacket doesn't flap, so how would it stay airborne? It might employ a buoyancy method similar to jellyfish, or use hydrogen-filled sacs like hypothetical alien sky whales. If its homeworld had lower gravity or denser air, Jean Jacket might soar effortlessly, using thermal updrafts or gas sacs. But here on Earth, physics might have something to say about that. So, in terms of whether something that big could fly, it's unlikely on Earth, but in a different atmosphere, or with alien biology, not impossible. Jean Jacket hunts by stealth and ambush, inhaling prey through an intense vacuum-like suction. This is eerily reminiscent of Earth predators, like anglerfish, which ambush their prey, or even whales and giant squids using suction to feed. Its cautious and selective hunting suggests advanced senses, intelligence, and the evolutionary advantage of staying hidden until it strikes. So, predatory behaviour makes sense, and suction feeding is very real. One of Nope's most striking moments is Jean Jacket's dramatic transformation into its mesmerizing yet fragile display. Real world parallels are abundant. Think about cuttlefish that flash hypnotic colors, birds of paradise performing elaborate dances, or mantis shrimp showing vibrant threats. Such a display form could serve as intimidation, sexual attraction, or territory marking. Given how vulnerable this form appears, it's likely evolved as a ritual display rather than functional structure. So the verdict on its display form it's striking and plausible for intimidation or mating. So is Jean Jacket intelligent? While well, it doesn't build structures or communicate verbally, its hunting strategy and territorial behavior indicate high intelligence, similar to dolphins or the problem-solving abilities of octopuses. It quickly learns to avoid danger, remembers threats, and selectively hunts. This is the hallmark of apex predators. Smart, adaptable, but not necessarily sentient or technological. Could it evolve naturally? If Jean Jacket evolved naturally, it likely came from a planet drastically different from Earth, perhaps one with lower gravity, dense atmospheres, and abundant airborne life. It could have evolved from smaller gliding ancestors like Earth's flying squirrels or gliding snakes, gradually becoming an apex predator of the skies. Perhaps it thrives in symbiosis with microorganisms that produce lighter than air gases or exploits atmospheric chemicals to remain aloft. So it's wildly speculative, but not beyond all biological plausibility. So could something like Jean Jacket truly exist? While its massive size and effortless flight may stretch biological realism on Earth, its hunting methods, elaborate displays, and intelligence fit surprisingly well into real-world biology. What do you think? Terrifying apex predator or misunderstood alien jellyfish? Drop your thoughts below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more biological breakdowns. Thanks for watching, and if you want to support the channel, you can find me on buymeacoffee.com. See you next time.